Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick wristwatch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, it's Archibald Chesterfield III. Today I'm doing a paid review. Paid review. I love these paid reviews. This is AU17 and this is for Alejandro. 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 So I think that's how you pronounce it. Quick wristwatch check. Wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Patek Philippe 5296. Because I can, Patek Philippe, Patek Philippe. Your true luxury gurus wear Patek Philippe. If they don't wear Patek Philippe, they are fucking losers. Okay, hello Archie. My name is Alexandro from Washington DC. I'm contacting you today because my, next year is my birthday. And I, my, my 30th birthday, and I would like to buy a new watch to commemorate this special birthday. I already have in my small collection a IWC Mark 18. He's got a Rolex Submarina, no date, 114060. I'm thinking about something special, something that I will keep as my 30th birthdays, to remember my 30th birthday for years to come. I'm thinking about the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch 39.7 and a date just one two six two three four thirty six mil steel white gold please i would really appreciate your feedback and suggestion for this special birthday to make the right decision by decisions also if you have any suggestion about a different brand model that i would consider please let me know as well my budget is nine thousand us macaroonies Thank you, Archie. I really appreciate your channel and your videos. Keep it up. P.S. I've attached the PayPal preview. All the best. Alejandro. Okie dokie. This is a man who's about to turn 30. Now, I've always said it. 30 is a big birthday for a man. He's old enough to have been around the block and know a bit about life, but he's young enough to be handsome, to be thin, to have tackle that still works very well oh i wish i could go back to 30 that's for sure i think the ultimate age for a man is about 35 to 37. let's have a look at this for his 30th so he's got a nice collection already he's got a no date rolex submarina and he's got an iwc a classic iwc pilot's watch um, okay, he wants to get uh, something for his 30th. Now, the 30th is a big birthday for a man. Any birthday that ends in zero is very important. Uh, birthdays don't get grander than one that ends in a zero. Um, I've got to tell you... Um, got to be honest with you you've got it for your 30th birthday what would i pick well that's that's a that's a really good question there uh it is interesting that he's considering a date just it's um it is a very good piece um i've got to be completely honest with you there um the one two six two three four the 36 mil that is a um, a really classic, gorgeous piece. Um, I, I The only thing is, I must say, I would tend to, if you're going to buy it new, I'd probably go for Datejust 41. That's my own view. Because in the new market, if you're going to buy that new, they really... Um, they really aren't much difference, the 36 mil to the 41. So if you're going to buy a 36 mil Datejust, I'd much rather you bought a hell of a lot cheaper second-hand one. That's honestly my advice there. Um, 
what can I say there? It's just gorgeous. The Rolex Datejust. It's a beautiful quality piece. There's nothing like adding a new Rolex to one's collection. I think that would be a great choice. The the um, i got to be honest with you. A Rolex. You're adding a Rolex to your collection. How can you honestly go wrong with that? I think that is a... That's a... That's a very, very cool watch there. Now, i got to tell you, that that's, there's a strong argument for that. Now, I don't quite understand. You mean 39.7? Just calling that up there. Um, you mean the... This is the... Uh, the Amiga. Okay, I'm just calling it up. Just hang on with me there. The Moonwatch Chronograph 39 point, yep, that's what it's it's called there. The 39.7. Uh, the Amiga Speedmaster is one of Amiga's, okay, we know yada, yada, yada. Uh, the first Amiga in space. The Moonwatch first Amiga in space was inspired by the watch first worn in, by Wally Shearer in 1962 as he orbited Earth. Uh, yes, yes. So this here is 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 really the... The first Omega in space watch, really. Okay, they call it the 39.7. Fair enough, fair enough. So, I've got to be honest with you. What do I think of that watch there? I absolutely love it. It's got the earlier type of case on it without the crown guards built into it. It's a wee bit smaller. I love the Delphine. I'm, I'm a sucker for Delphine hands. Look at my Padex Delphine hands. So... Uh, the Amiga Speedmaster Moonwatch 39.7. Well, it's not actually the Moonwatch. I think that's kind of... Uh, this is pre-moon, pre-moon, pre-moon. Um, I think it's an absolutely beautiful watch. It uses the 1861, which, which is what Amiga uses in their watches. Very cool watch. Uh, very iconic. Um, it's, it is really a lovely piece to behold there so i suppose the question is there let's just look at this here this watch here does wear smaller as i've uh the name suggests 39.7 that relates to the 39.7 millimeter case diameter and this watch also uses a 19 mil that's the the end of the strap i don't have one here but the the strap or the bracelet or, or the, the leather band is 19 mils. On the more traditional 42 millimeter moon watch, it is 20 mils. So it is it is a got a wee bit of a smaller feel to it there. Um, I've got to tell you, this is a beautiful watch. Um, I don't have any problems with that watch. I think it's absolutely stunning absolutely stunning um so it's also a very good choice there um i would really appreciate your feedback and suggestions for this perfect for this birth for the special birthday to make the right decision um i've got to be completely frank and honest with you i think both of those choices the rolex 36 mil date just and the amiga speedmaster uh, 39.7 they are both beautiful they're both icons they're both classic watches they're both a watch <coughs> you could have for the rest of your life uh, no question at all as to which one do you choose that is a very very difficult equation to pick there i would like to further complicate the matter by saying i think for you another great choice would be the jega lucultra tribute to 1931 the classic black one just the two hand manual wind it's an icon so we've got three on the table now let's be honest there i think maybe the jega lucultra Maybe that's a better gift for your 40th birthday. That's I got my Jaeger Lacoutre, a Reverso Grand Date for my 40th. I think that might be better for a more mature man. The two choices, a Rolex Datejust 
or an Amiga Speedmaster? Fuck, I've got to tell you, that's a very tricky choice there. Um, I suppose the thing is this. Okay, let, let's just look at two hypotheticals. Say your girlfriend or your wife or your family took you in to a brand, a new reseller of watches, a retail store, and they had both on the table. Just imagine this. You've had a birthday, a limo's picked you up. You've been gone into this beautiful watch store, and they've said, which one do you want? One is your birthday present. So if someone else is paying for it, I'd probably go for the Datejust. Okay, the Datejust I think is a beautiful watch. Uh, it's iconic, just gorgeous. Now, pop! After we've picked our Datejust, we then climb back into the limousine. We have an escort on our side with big breasts. She sits next to us in the Lincoln Town car as we go to our favorite steak restaurant to have rib on the bone steak with potato chips, beer fried potato chips, mushroom sauce. Oh, and little lobsters, little lobster by the side there, beef and reef. Beef and reef, fuckers! And then after we've had the, the most wonderful meal, we go to our favourite dessert restaurant, Baskin Robbins or Swenson's or One Upmarket Ice Cream Parlour for the most ultimate ice cream cake. Then we say our farewells as our busty escort and our Omega Speedmaster in, well, our, our, our wristwatch, sorry, our wristwatch in the bag, the Rolex. We jump off on a plane for a holiday in the sun. Now, if we had to pay for the watch ourselves, if we have to pay for the watch ourselves out of our own hard earned money, I'd probably go for the Amiga. It's going to be a lot cheaper. It's an iconic, beautiful watch. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so I, I think both of those choices there are fine. They are amazing choices. A Rolex or the, the Amiga. Personally... If someone else was paying for it, get the 41 mil Datejust. If you've got to use your own coin, I don't think there's anything wrong with that Omega. And I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you, I really do. I'm really, I like your collection. You're 30 years old, you're building it slowly. You don't have a tribe of shit. You don't have, you know, you're building. So many people in this world get sucked into this Instagram bullshit. Instagram this, we're, we're all rich, we're all driving Ferraris, we're all, you know, we're all cool in this. The reality is, to have one luxury wristwatch, to have one Rolex is fucking amazing. So with your collection there, an IWC and a Submarino No Date, you've got the dream of most men already achieved. Don't be sucked in by this bullshit Instagram, Facebook crap. And I, I honestly would say if it was me, if it was me, as I said, if someone else is picking up the tab, get the fucking Rolex. If it was my own money, I'd get the Amiga. And uh, fuck it, buy the Amiga new if you want to. Make sure you get a fucking discount. Mention to the boutique that Joma Shop is flooding the market with them. Uh, that's what I would do. And if, if the boutique won't bend, get the fucking thing from Joma. That's what I would do. Um, wow, 30. That's, that's a wonderful... Man, I can tell you this. That's a fucking wonderful birthday. 30 is a great age to be. Can I... Oh, I was in Thailand. I turned 30 in Thailand. Fuck. Yes, I remember my 30th. 
fuck. Fuck. You know, when I when I turned 30, I worked with a guy who I thought was my best friend. And he used to always go, we used to go out to the bars drinking. And my th 30th came up and he didn't want to go out. He turned out to be a real fuck. That really fucking annoyed me because he didn't go out on my birthday. You know, that's my 30th for fuck's sake. That's a very important birthday for a man. So I was, I kind of woke up to the fact that no cunt in this world is really your friend. They're all fucking snivelling sons of bitches. And i got to be honest with you. It's rather sad when you look back on it and you have this realisation. I would have loved to have got a fucking... I was, I was working in Thailand. I wasn't doing that well. I would have loved... 2002 it was, October 2, I'd only been there for a couple, of, a month or two, two and a half months actually, when I, I went there August, August, yeah, I, I would have loved to have a, um, I would have loved to have had a, an Amiga for my 30th, what a fucking wonderful present, they're both fucking great watches, as I said, if someone else is paying, get the fucking Rolex. If you're paying, get the Amiga. The Amiga is a great watch. I know so many people. I've got a good friend of mine who's a lawyer who earns a fuckload, fuckload of money. Really great guy. Top lawyer. When he made, when he, his first luxury watch was a Rolex GMT. When he made partner at the law firm. He got a Amiga Speedmaster. He actually got the sa sand Sapphire Sandwich. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, um, the Amiga's a great watch. Great watch. The Amiga's a fantastic watch. The Rolex is an amazing watch. They're both really good. Flip a coin. Whatever you have to do, make the choice. And uh, thank you for asking for Archibald Chesterfield III's opinion. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and don't be afraid to put some nasty comments down below. And uh, if you haven't had a paid review done yet, why don't you get Archie to do one? I desperately need the money, fuckers. I need the money. Okay, fuckers, until next time, see you later, fuckers. Hi guys, it's Paul Pluter, and today guys, I would like to talk about a new sponsor, which I'm very proud to have on board. This is the Fur Boutique of Germany. That's correct. And, you know, before you start getting really crazy with the animal livers and all these crazy left-wing communists out there, I want to say to you, furs have been used by man for hundreds of years for warmth, and four, to show luxury and superiority. And I'm very proud to hook up with Fur Boutique of Germany. That's correct. These people here know quality fur. In fact, I'm going to be ordering a fur, fur coat very, very soon for one of my lady friends. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. So this is fur. Um, I gotta be honest with you. This is recycling at its greatest. This is a, um, it's a, it's a fur. They're selling quality furs in Germany. These are on the pre-owned market. These are, this is, this is, this is, this is like the watches, the Rolex watches. I'm saying buy pre-owned, pre-owned. No different with luxury fur. Luxury fur. I highly recommend it. Uh, this company here. Uh, they ship Fur Boutique Germany. They ship via DHL Premium. Uh, they are quality sellers. They have over 500 fur coats in stock. Uh, large quantities, good quality. This is a chance to live the dream. Come on, guys. We know in the 70s, you know, all these animal livers and fuckers, they, they all went nuts. But... These fucking little rodents, you, you, you befriend these rodents, they bite you, they bite you. So 
wouldn't it be nice to make these little fuckers into a fur coat? So, i got to be honest with you. I totally support fur. I totally support fur. I totally support it. And if you raise the furs in a humane, raise these animals in a humane environment, and then you turn them into coats, well, who am I to say anything wrong with that? We eat meat, we eat cow, don't we? We eat cow. I'm a meat eater. I'm not a lesbian, left-wing vegetarian. No, I need my proteins. I'm very proud to be associated with Fur Boutique Germany, and I stand behind their full range of stock. Thank you. Click on the link down below to visit their store. Oh. Hey Archie Luxury fans, if you're into luxury, then you gotta be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. 